Welcome back to Your Bookshelf Besties. I'm Ashley. And I'm Brandy. And today we're going to be talking about audiobooks versus real books. And Kindle, we'll throw it all in there. Just all the different ways that we begin our book intake. Yeah, yeah. So there's obviously the huge debate on audiobook versus really real book and Kindle. Because a lot of people, I think, wouldn't count audiobooks. I count audiobooks. I feel like I used to not count audiobooks because I never ever was an audiobook reader. I just recently started listening to audiobooks because I was like, I can do other things. The times when I can't hold my Kindle and read, right. I can listen to an audiobook. So I can right. be reading all day long. Right. So I, that is, is new for me. So beforehand, I didn't think audiobooks necessarily counted because I'm like, how does it count the same when you can be like multitasking? You know what I mean? Like, how is the comprehension going to be the same? You know, if you're like doing multiple things. But to that, I mean, our friend last night said that she reads her Kindle and works at the same time. That's true. So that's That's still multitasking. (laughs) Tis wizardry. But it definitely, um, you know, is the same, right? You can still multitask. I think I've always counted audiobooks because to me, I'm still finishing a book, whether you're still knowing the exact same story. Yeah, you're still reading it, right? Right. Like, I think I've always counted and I always will count. I do a lot of audiobooks just with my job. I'm always in the car. So for me, it'd be very dangerous if I read my book and drove at the same time. Fair. So I think definitely... It's almost like watching a movie in the same aspect of it because you get to listen to the characters. Sometimes I prefer it because I like the characters' voices, right? Right. It's more like animated. Yeah. It's not like you're on a creative head. Right, right. Those are like full on movies. Yeah. I I need to do that for Akatar. I'm team audiobook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm team Kindle, but back to the audiobook versus reading book and like kind of the controversy there. I did see on TikTok a speech pathologist did mention that the way you comprehend hearing and reading something, it, it's the same in your brain. So your brain can't even decipher that like it was read versus it was heard. Right. So, right. I mean, in the terms of your brain, your brain is like you still know yeah. the story, the exact same story. So I understand that it does count. It does. Why, so why would people not count it? I think because you can like bust out audiobooks like crazy. You can up the yeah. speed. You can, you know what I yeah, mean? It just, yeah, yeah. when you're reading, I feel like it's like you ha- you're more involved. Like you have to be more involved. You're turning yes. the page. You're following the lines. I mean, like you are an active participant in, in reading, you yeah. know, whereas an audiobook, I like can cook and clean and drive and do all this other stuff while I'm reading and finish like two books, right. you know, right. like very quickly. And like how people read like 40 books a month, right? Right. I mean, so (laughs) it is still reading. You really do still know the exact same story, but I do understand like how much more, I want to say intimate it is just to read like a book in your hand. You know what I mean? Like you're just like so active in it. It's like the only thing you're doing except from our friend who like can read and work at the same time, like a psycho you know, I feel like for me, if I'm reading, I'm not doing anything else. Yeah. It's just me and my book. We're in our yeah. book world. Like that's, that's all there is to yeah. it. But with my audio book, I'm like, I do feel like I do have to be really focused on audio. I am the type of person that when I'm listening to audio, I still have to be focused. A lot of times if I am listening to an audio book and doing other things like cooking or something, I get really distracted and I have to rewind. But then when I read a real book too, sometimes I zone out and I have to go back a couple pages and I'm like, what did I just read? That's fair. So it all to me is the same. I have to just do like very mindless tasks, like chopping while I'm cutting or like, you know, just like something repetitive. Like I told you, I was like, my new favorite thing to do with the audiobooks is literally color. Like one of my like tranquility coloring books or my Harry Potter coloring book and like just color, you know, like that to me is like just totally mindless and like I'm able to just listen and yeah it works really well for me not saying that I would like just 
switch over to listening to audiobooks because again I do like like the intimacy of me and my book laying in yeah. bed together you know what yeah, I mean like yeah, that yeah. to me is like very special and I just love when I book. get too tired in bed if I take a book or my kindle to bed and I just get so tired that my eyes get heavy I'll switch and I'll listen to something interesting interesting and I kind of use it to fall asleep I know that sounds crazy right because I miss parts of it but you know like some people will watch tv to fall asleep that's true right. so, so do you go back and rewind and like oh yeah for yeah sure. <laughs> Or do you just say, left off on page 50, even though I fell asleep at 25, but (laughs) I heard it while I'm missing a big chunk. (laughs) No, no, I do go back, but I do, I do that. But also, sometimes I will catch myself falling asleep and I'll turn it off. But just if my eyes are too heavy, I know that reading will put me to sleep. Yeah. Because sometimes reading makes me tired. Yeah, no, me too. But also, like, I'm not someone... There's a lot of people who, for the most part, I'm pretty good about being like, I'm not remembering what I'm reading. Like, I need to put my book down mm-hmm. and like go. Some people are like, nope, I push through. And I'm like, I'm not. I don't my understand brain how it stops, I like, know, starts letting I go know. of ex- the sentence before that I just read. Like, it's really. That was crazy. literally me last night. Yeah. I read the same sentence like five times and I was like, just still couldn't comprehend. You're just like, this is different yep. language. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So I don't feel like there's a difference reading wise between Kindle and real books. They're the same to me, essentially. It's just one, you get to hold a book in your hand and get, like, the feel of the pages versus the other is digital and you don't get to keep it on your bookshelf. But do you reading see the aspect, controversy of it, though, that, like, you could pound out audiobooks like crazy? Like, the fact that you can read maybe, like, two Yeah, books. but no, Kindle. Kindle versus real. Oh, Kindle versus real. Oh, Kindle versus real. I'm a Kindle girl. Yeah. I'm a Kindle girl. But that's what I'm saying. I don't really feel the difference between those two, between Kindle versus real books. So for me, I hate reading real books. Like, but why? Despise reading real books because my Kindle. Feel of paper. No, I don't like my fingers having to situate to hold pages. Okay, like I do get to lie on my side, and like then I'm like, how do I hold this comfortably for hours? To I am a side reader. I do like to lay on my side and read, so that's super convenient. But I always find myself like with my book on the side, and I'm like, I'm like, I do get the struggle. I like I genuinely hate reading books. Like if you see my library, it's like very minimal because I'm gonna try to get everything on my Kindle. I want to read in the dark. I want to read on my like yeah, side I want to read in any position I want to read in. that is super convenient the dark because like when I go to bed I will keep my bedside light on and I know that my I husband like is a like a little <laughs> light on my thing and then I yeah it's just I have a little light that like goes on to yep. my books but yeah I don't I'm, like those book lights though because yeah, then you either. have to constantly move them when you move pages I just put mine all the way to like the very yeah. back but I mean I don't like it either like it's just annoying yeah. and then I'm like it's so inconvenient. So I love my Kindle for convenience. I don't like real books for inconvenience. I mean, I do love like how pretty the book covers I are. I love a real book. Like just looking at it though. Like, yeah. See, I, I don't just like want to fill my bookshelf. And I don't like clutter. I'm like realistically, chances are I will only read a handful of books that I've purchased ever again. You know, so those really are just like momentums. How do you feel Mentos? about like books on your kindle that you buy and put on your bookshelf like i know there's so many people and on tiktok you know where they make tiktoks about how they have to have the the physical copy of it because you have to return it to kindle unlimited so i i have friends who have who i'm like just get it on kindle unlimited and they're like no i need to have the hard copy and i'm like yes (laughs) i am guilty of that (laughs) of certain books but not every book and I think my I guess guilty, certain books too. Yeah, it's not even that. It's I will go buy a book at, if I'm just impulse buy, right? Because I want to read it. And then I get home and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is on Kindle. And I had no idea. That's where it usually happens for me. See, I am like, will not buy a book unless I know it's not on Kindle Unlimited. And my Libby wait is like three months out. And that's pretty much the only way that like I can read it. You know what I mean? Like right. that's my last option. So the books that I have purchased, it's because they were on Kindle Unlimited or like Libby easily accessible yeah. as fast as I wanted it. That's like my last resort is buying the book. Except for a handful of books where I'm just like, I want this book. I feel like you've bought a decent amount of books recently though. Yeah, probably because I had like gift cards. 
But yeah. I know. I just got a gift card to Barnes and Noble. And I'm like, well, darn. Guess yeah. I have to go to the bookstore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I will get books and like, I just, I don't enjoy reading them. Like, yes, they're pretty. I just, in my head, I'm like, I want to be able to hold my book with one hand and. I'm very guilty of just buying something because it's pretty. Like fourth wing. Yeah. I have fourth wing on my bookshelf and I know I'm going to read it on my Kindle or I'm going to listen on audio. Yeah, I mean, my friend, she, I'm reading her copy of Fourth Wing because my wait for Libby was, like, so long and she yeah. happened to, like, let me yeah. read it. So, thankfully, I did that. Otherwise, I probably would have went and bought that one, but. Um. I bought it on Kindle before anyone could find it in store. And then I just so happened to buy it. Because you just have the painted book. edges? No, because those were only, like, the first, the first, first edition. Deal. Yeah. My friend has the painted edges and I'm like so jealous that one I probably would have bought actually now like that I read it and I can confirm that it is a a 10 out of 10 5 out of 5 whatever like it's I feel like it's gonna be like my next new personality but anyways so you're um, a kindle girly I'm I'm a kindle girly I am an audio girl just for convenience yeah for convenience three kids work all the time you are always working so I think that that's kind of why I I'm so mixed because I love I think my Kindle's my last resort. I think that's so crazy. But I have been in this weird place right now. And I'm like going phases though. Because yeah. I'll go in a phase where I only want to read on my Kindle. Or I'll go in a phase where I only want to read real books. But right now I'm very much in a real book. And I think that's because I have so many real books that I haven't read yet on my bookshelf. That I'm like determined yeah. to get through those books first. I have to make myself read my hard cover books. Like my hard it's copy hard. books. Because... I'm just like, oh, if I do that, I'm going to have to be committing to my light, to being uncomfortable, <laughs> like, you know, and it's just like, I don't ever want to do that, but I do have a collection of books that I do need to, to get to and actually read, but. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the general consensus is audiobooks count. Audiobooks count. Don't let anybody tell you that they don't. Yes. You're audiobooks still comprehending. Count. You're still yeah. hearing the exact same story. You're going to yeah. know all the same stuff. I mean, obviously the concern about like maybe multitasking and like not paying attention during certain parts of the audiobook and not being able to comprehend is still the same as like when you're reading a book and you like space out and you still have to like you didn't comprehend yeah, still I think you know it's I mean? literally just, just the whole thing of it they the whole debate of they don't count is that you're not act- actually reading the book but you kind of are your brain doesn't know that you're not your brain well, it is even goes it the back to the same of like the way that people learn, right? Right, like That's some true. people are better visual learners, and right. some people are better like actually like listening and being into it. And I would consider audiobooks more of being like the hands-on learning mm-hmm. because you're hearing it and processing it that way, versus just the visual learning of reading on paper. Regardless how you learned, you still learned it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like we still got there. We still finished the book. We still know the exact yeah. same story. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for me, audiobooks, I'm like, they're just what I'll do when I'm, like, cooking. I will never just, like, do it. You've definitely gotten into yeah. them a lot more recently. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just started listening to my first few, like, literally this month. <laughs> yeah. But I, yeah. I think I, I listened like, to, like, nine this month. I, think I, I listened to four. Yeah. And then I got maxed out, and I was like, <laughs> just wait till this resets. But, yeah. No, okay. I think I think absolutely that they count, and don't let anybody tell you that they don't. And, and Kindle girlies exist, and we're here. And <laughs> yes. if you don't like clutter, and you like being able to read in the dark comfortably and in your bed, just you and your Kindle, that's still okay. <laughs> yeah. Always okay. As yeah. long as you're reading. That's, that's the, the main thing. thing. Right? We just, yeah. If you're reading, as you're reading, that's all that counts. Yeah. If you're in love with the characters, that the same characters that I love or she loves, like, that's really all that matters is that we're just reading more books whatever that it looks like for you yeah just yeah absolutely yeah. that's it from us yeah that's it. about about it all i got all i got thanks for tuning in again thanks bye bye <laughs>